Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. And thank you for the super thanks. I'm going to do what I found on the covers today. Or the last couple days ago, it is the girls. Yes, those sisters are fighting it out. They have bad blood and they've had blood, bad blood forever. Apparently... Uh, their mother blew 25 million, uh, just an insane history of bad blood. She Apparently she gave some shocking final words to them uh, in her suicide note. And um, yeah, Winona and Ashley have never really quite gotten along. So I want to do an energy spread on the sisters and what's going to, what's going to unfold with these sisters, you know, they lost their mother and now it's going to probably get worse between them. It's never been good when she was alive. And so now it's even worse. So let's get some cards here and find out. Let's find out how is it going to unfold for Winona and Ashley. Here we go. First card. They are very sentimental. Yes, thinking about their mother. They're trying to put their, they're thinking about their childhood. This is a childhood card. Let's think about think, how trying to be positive, I would say, is the number one thing. They're attempting to get to this point. Probably won't stay there, but this is where they're focused. This is where their focus is. Let's focus on the positive aspects of what we had when we were young. That is a karmic relationship. That is the uh, sentimental card of um, your childhood, in essence, and how uh, there was giving and taking and uh, warm, fuzzy feelings uh, with that. So they're trying to be positive. They're trying to be good with it. They're trying to feel protective of what they did have. Very sentimental. They felt they had very good conditions with their mother. So let's get to the challenging position here. Challenging. Well, I got two of them here. Challenging here is, wow. Yeah. Okay. The challenging position is the king of pentacles in reverse. I would say that is the stepfather getting the money and uh, probably wanting to get some of it. They want to drain that money from him. Uh, you know, he was not the man who made it. So they're kind of irritated that it's not his money, yet he got it. Uh, and then we have here the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse is trying to recover from the loss. This is a total illness. It's mental illness. It's a complete loss. It's feeling abandonment, uh, you know, hardship. This is, it's definitely the mental illness card. And here you're trying to pull yourself up, you know, finding a place where you belong, trying to improve the situation despite the fact he got the money bags, but they don't want him to get it. They want to find a way, at least, to get it from him. How do we get it out of his control? He got full control over her assets, in essence. And they're not happy about it. Neither one of them want that situation. So that's part of probably what their, their um, brawling is about. Let's get to the focal point. Focal point. It is a death. Mom uh, took herself out, and there's nothing they can do about it. Completely destroyed all hope is destroyed there is no getting better with her mental health here you know they probably thought she was in recovery they probably thought hey she's turning a corner but then she's always here and here you know for years it was really sick to starting to recover getting back to sick start going back so at this point yeah you know, the fact that she she committed suicide uh all hope is destroyed uh, nothing you can do about it and having a difficult time accepting it uh, let's get to the hidden energy here. Hidden energy. Hidden energy is it happened out of the blue. Out of the blue, suddenly, didn't see it coming. That's exactly how it was described. Uh, Naomi, was it Naomi? Yes. Uh, not, excuse me. It was the sister Ashley that was told to step outside. Mo you know, mother asked her, hey, I have a friend coming. Can you go greet her? So Ashley went to go greet this old time friend and bring her into the house. Uh, Naomi had asked Ashley, will you stay with me today? And she said, yes, mom, of course I will. And she then she dropped the bomb on her, a friend's coming. So while that she stepped out to go gather that friend is when she pulled the trigger. So she very much knew what she was doing because the letter was already written. Uh, so this was part of her plan and she did it quickly, fast, very assertive, very fighting energy. Um, and this is someone who basically is doing it with force. It's force and it's an aggressor card, a very aggressive card, out of the blue, quick. Before you know it, it's done and over with. 
So let's get to the past position here. Past position. Okay, past position. Uh, they don't feel, in the past, they never felt things, this is the recent past, that anything would improve. Uh, there would be no growth, no growth of expression, uh, no creation of anything. So mom wasn't going to do any more music or, you know, she was retirement. Uh, they probably worried about her even hitting the stage. She didn't want to do accept her award. So they were realizing in the very re recent past, she was not improving with her mental health. Uh, lack of ambition, lack of talking, creativity was down. She was too depressed to create and write music, do anything with it. Uh, I would say she probably got a little paranoid in terms of loyalty issues, uh, lacking energy. Uh, life felt meaningless. Very meaningless feeling in life is a wand in reverse. Life does not feel worth living. The passion's gone doing is gone the drive is gone ideas are gone i don't want to talk about it i i'm not going to create i don't feel passion i have no instincts i don't want attention just leave me alone i don't want the pr leave me alone so she did not want to go down to that show she did not want to create anything she had no passion so they saw that part of them they saw it coming because she was tanking you know um she was getting sick she was in a, a sick cycle I think she went from flip floppy, flip floppy, and uh, she was on a down a downturn, and probably wishing that she okay like always she'll pull out of it, you know. But they were always wondering uh, if she would because she was always threatening it. So let's get to the future, the future, the future. I'm gonna keep pulling, shuffling the future, the future, the future. There we go. Nope, too many. Not gonna do that many. The future. There we go. The future. The future, it became a juggling act of resources. So they were juggling. This is why they're fighting over money. They were juggling their resources because she spent, as it says in the title here, $25 million fortune. So mom liked to blow her fortune. So it was a juggling act, an emotional juggling act of resources. Uh, and now that is going to be what's going on now. How are we going to juggle this money that's been left behind? Uh, let's get to the feelings in the situation. Wow, that flipped over. Did a flippy floppy. Low boundaries, nine of wands, giving up. So they might just give up on the feelings of this situation. Uh, nine of wands in reverse is, you know, trying just basically uh, not being able to protect what was accomplished. Uh, probably realizing that maybe stepdad, father has control and now they cannot protect it. They're not able to protect it. Uh, they cannot be, even be defensive of it because they are not in control of it. Here, uh, you have your walls up. You're able to protect and what was accomplished. You can protect it and be defensive of it. You can be alert of it, uh, you know, but here you can't. So they don't have that ability. They don't have the ability. It's just not in their control. Uh, so it's out of their hands in essence. And the boundary is wide open and it could all get lost in that position because of low boundaries, someone might spend it all. So there's no fulfillment. It's a nine in reverse, feeling very unfulfilled. Uh, cannot protect what's what's left of the financial legacy there. Uh, so yeah, so they're feeling pretty uh, vulnerable. There's a vulnerable feeling with that nine in reverse. Not being able to protect what you had or what you created is pretty vulnerable feeling. So very unsatisfied, very unfulfilled. Both of them are feeling very unfulfilled. Uh, not thinking that they can even grow together and find any fulfillment together. Um, and that th this is just um, giving up on each other. So basically kind of giving up on their sister sisterhood here. Uh, let's get to the um, outside influences, outside influences, outside influences, outside influences. Outside influences, no support, not feeling supported for whatever reason. I don't feel, I think this is just a feeling here. Uh, not having a social life. They need a social life. Uh, mom needed a social life. She, she hold herself up. Uh, needs good times. So they need good times. They're not having any good times. I, you know, it's not so much not having support. I think it's not uh, able to enjoy life right now. Life is not a party right now. Life is not a party. They don't want to talk to people about it. So there's a lot of suffering, I would say. Uh, they're just probably shutting down, I would say. Uh, because they're they're having too many conflicts here with the five of swords. Everybody's they're fighting with each other. A lot of infighting. 
uh, with the five of swords. One wants to take from the others to in order and fight unfairly, uh, which there's a lot of resentment. So there's a lot of resentment. They don't want to talk to people about it. They don't want to be out socializing. They're kind of shutting themselves off. Three of Cups in reverse is also uh, is a card of someone who's going who tends to over drink uh, to numb the pain. Uh, and there's just all this mental conflicts. And, you know, I'm going to take from you to get what I want. And so there's all this resentment that could be heavy drinking. I'm not talking to my friends. I'm shutting down. And then we have here the Knight of Wands in reverse. So the Knight of Wands in reverse uh, is caged in with negativity. So they're both sort of caged in with negativity and depressed. So there's a lot of depression going on here. Uh, yeah, giving up is a form of unfulfilled sort of depression, depression, stuck in the situation, can't change it, having a hard time facing it. So I'm seeing a lot of uh, emotionally tanking, really tanking. It's really sad, really. It's too bad. Very, it's horrific, really. Very sad. Okay, so let's get to the uh, next position is the hopes and fears. Hopes and fears between the two of these sisters. Winona and Ashley, Winona and Ashley, here we go. They're going to try and heal their division with the three of swords in reverse. They don't, they don't want this because they lost their mom, which is good. This is nice to see this. They want people at least, you know, they want, they want to heal. They want, they want, you know, they don't want people to see them stabbing each other and having this triangulation issue with lack of communication with the stepfather. Uh, it's a three, three people, three communication, having communication problems and they, and, and really betraying each other and hurting each other with really harsh, uh, cutting words. So they don't want to be cutting towards each other and break more hearts because they're already suffering as it is. So let's not do that. She would not want that. So they're going to try to not do it. They're going to do apologies. Uh, they're going to try to have forgiveness and they're going to try and move on which is beautiful. That's good. That's good to see. Let's get to the final, final call here. The final outcome, final outcome, final outcome is they're still going to feel very destroyed, very destroyed here with the four of swords and trying to pull themselves out of it, but they're not going to be able to admit that they both feel completely broken. Uh, it is trying to get their you know, it's a reputation ruined. They feel like the reputation as a family is down. Uh, it's about a card of going silent. So they're going to stay quiet for quite some time. Uh, it's a mental breakdown, taking pause mode. It's retreating. You're feeling so defeated. You know, you got to heal. It's another coffin card. It's almost like another death. And so I think it's the death of, of the love of the positive messages that they were able to give to their mother. Um, and as a result, they, because that she had issues, emotional issues, they did not ever truly get their emotional needs met. There is fantasy, there's tantrums. There was, they were always wondering when this four of swords would happen, where everybody would be defeated by her, by her illness and it's coffin. So they're always wondering when they would lose her. You know, when will we get this horrible emotional negative message of my mother's coffin, of her doing herself in. Uh, so this here is quite sad. It could also mean they're not truly enjoying or feeling they're not getting their emotional needs met by the stepfather. Even though they love him, uh, maybe he's not able to give right now because he's equally suffering as well. And he shut down probably as well. So everyone's suffering. There has been communication issues. So everyone's in this, this emotional mending phase. And right now people are emotionally drained. I would say he's more emotionally drained. And that, um, you know, that Knight of Cups is that knight in shining armor has fallen off his horse. So he can no longer court, court um, Naomi and love Naomi. And, you know, he, he now needs other people to kind of help and lift him up. But unfortunately, everyone's at a four of swords and feeling so destroyed, they're not allowed to give it to them because there's this infighting over the money. There's this infighting between the sisters who don't get along. There's this always been this fighting. And so they're not able to help her, her surviving spouse. 
Uh, and this Knight of Cups is feeling very emotionally drained. He really is feeling moody. And, um, you know, he's just not um, feeling a positive emotional vibe. You know, and he's not taking any invitations or proposals. He's kind of shutting down. Uh, he doesn't want to hear any more messages. He's just, he's in shutdown mode. So this is very, very, God, my throat is kind of getting really tight, really tight. When I do really sad spreads like this, my throat gets really cinched. It's feeling very cinched right now because there's a lot of suffering on this table. So no more teamwork expansion, no more mastery skill of the three of pentacles. So this here is group conflict. So they're still under a lot of fighting. They're very disorganized and fighting to find out how they're going to fix this. Yeah. And there's been some, there's a lot of self-interest in this situation. Yes. And let's get to the center of the deck here. We have here, it is the eight of cups in reverse. The eight of cups in reverse is the upright here. Eight of cups is walking away, leaving from the pain. You know, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. So that's basically what uh, Naomi did. She was in a lot of pain. And in this position, it's been there, done that. And it's about trying to get re-engaged with people, returning home, get re-engaged. So at some point in time, hopefully they do get re-engaged and they do find a way to embrace each other but it's also about Naomi going home because it's also leaving the home for a more potential, leaving a painful place for more potential. And this here also can represent going home as in the other side uh, for many readers. So that can be read that way, which gave her a new emotional beginning of being rebirthed. It's also the baby card. So it's sort of being rebirthed uh, with pleasure. So, and getting love offerings from the other side. And then lo and behold, underneath here, I have the mother card in reverse. So she has left the earth plane, no longer enjoying the abundance of what she created. She is gone. And they're kind of angry that she did it. And there's a lot of just, it's cause and effect of her mental illness. And it's created this massive wake up call, massive wake up call, we're going to try to do things better. We got to do things better. It's a major wake up call to the way we have been with each other while she was alive. And it created <clears throat> between them a major crash and burn. And so the girls, they are going to eventually come to a point where uh, they need to embrace each other with more high vibe energy and be motivated and try to take on new opportunities and move past it with a positive intentions with each other. And learn uh, something from this whole situation. Learn about themselves and grow and expand from this horrific uh, ex situation. And it's part of the legacy. And it's about it's about the money. This is this is the, the 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 inheritance card right here. So it has a lot to do with the inheritance. And they're going to have to be temperate with each other. They're going to have to take the middle ground. They're going to have to be. There's going to be some negotiation of moderation with the desire to heal. So that is how I see it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.